Hi there, this is Eva at ilovetostamp.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I am going to show you a beautiful card created with the new pigment sprinkles. Um, these are new to our catalog uh, for the 2019-2020 catalog, annual catalog. And I am super excited about these because I love to watercolor. Um, just a couple of days ago, I posted about another card that I created with uh, these pigment sprinkles and gave you some tips on that. So today I wanted to continue with that and kind of show you another card. And I'm also super excited about another product that I wanted to share, which is the Lovely Leaves Dyes. And um, I made another card uh, just yesterday uh, showcasing the leaves from here, which are super beautiful, these ferns, um, along with the daisy lane stamps and, and punch. But um, I also wanted to, so that's this particular leaf right here. I love this fern leaf. It's so nice and so detailed. Uh, but today I'm going to focus on an, uh, another leaf, which is this one. And I absolutely love this one. And I'll show you why. So uh, let's get started. Also, this particular lovely, um, the lovely leaves dies come with uh, as a bundle in the lovely is the day. And I had a customer who uh, pointed out that she had a difficulty understanding how to use this stamp set with the dies. So I'll make an effort on creating another video for next week about this one because I think it's super amazing how this particular uh, bundle is working. So I just love it. It's super awesome. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start um, uh, the card. So I made this card a few days ago, and this was my intention to showcase, but I decided I'd create another one, and I'm going to show you how to make this one. And the reason for that is because um, I wanted to show you both. They're pretty much the same card, uh, very similar anyway. Uh, they're using the same dies, uh, same punches, different colors, yes, and that's kind of what I wanted to play on. Um, I want to, as you can see, this one is more bold. The colors are a lot bolder, um, and and this one here is softer. So, um, and I used the pretty much the same colors except I didn't use Bermuda Bay. I just kept it with Granny Apple Green on this one, and I went uh, with a Melon Mambo. But as you can see on this card, Melon Mambo can be very dark as well, and so that's the beauty of um, you know pigment sprinkles or any watercolor um, product is because you are the one who decides how deep you want that color. Do you want it to be lighter or do you want it to be darker? So, and that's kind of why I made um, this card today. Um, and I'm gonna share that how to make with you. So we're using only two colors, the pigment sprinkles. I used, um, uh, like I said, uh, the Bermuda Bay and um, Mango Melody on the other one along with the Granny Apple Green. But for today, we're only gonna focus on um, Granny Apple Green and Mellow Mumbo. So um, I'm gonna have all the measurements for my card stock and, and all that and what card stocks I used on my blog. So I'm not gonna bore you with that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start working right away with my um, uh, watercolor um, background, which is super easy. And that's why I really love it. It's so effective in my opinion. All you need is a mini spritzer full of water. Um, you'll need your aqua painter and uh, a paper towel handy. So that's pretty much all you'll need. So what I typically start with, I just spritz my uh, watercolor, I mean my, my watercolor paper and it looks like I already had a couple of pigments on there. And, um, and then I'll go ahead and, and add a little bit of um, granny apple green. As, and as you can see, it's really cool because it has a little bit of blue, has a little bit of reddish, everything and yellow, uh, but it's actually gonna be just uh, green once you pull it out. So you can, you can go back with your uh, water spritzer again and, and you can start moving it around as you can see it's so cool and then um, and then you can add more if you want if you feel like that's not enough and then you can move it around also with the aqua painter which is what I typically do I'm actually gonna go ahead and use um, a water I mean a paper right underneath so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it around and I kind of like this look I'm gonna grab another paper towel and I kind of like that look a lot. So what I typically do is I just blot the edges. And I said this in my previous video, if you had a patterned paper towel, you could actually create a patterned background using this. So it would be kind of cool as well. So I'm gonna leave it as that. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, basically dry it.
And, and that's really all you would do. You would basically just dry it. That's all you would have to do. Um, but to speed up the process, I just wanted to show you that step anyway. To speed up the process, what I did is I actually created another one. So I'm going to go ahead and con continue with this one. And I'll wait until this one dries and continue with this at some point because it'll be beautiful as it is. Um, so I'm going to take a step back and then create now the um, melon mumbo color. So and that's going to be super easy. Once again, I gave you another tip last time. Just squeeze, uh, sc squeeze your um, aqua painter out uh, to clean it. Um, and it, it gets clean totally, so it's very easy. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and um, use my mini spritzer um, all over pretty much. And, uh, and I'm going to have my um, paper towel underneath. And this one I didn't close all the way, so I'm just going to add that one is actually going to have a lot of powder on it. So this would be awesome for you to see what happens if you put too much powder on, right? And I'll have to clean that part up later. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little more water to this. And you see how beautiful these colors are. It's super beautiful. So now I have a choice once again. Do I want it to be really dark or do I want it to be lighter? Um, however I want it to be, right? And um, it's very easy to, dis to create either look. So either you leave it as it is and dry it perhaps just as it is. Or, again, I'm going to smooth it out. I don't want it, the lines to be showing up. Or just go ahead and, and blot it with a paper towel, which is what I'm going to do. Because on my card that I created for today, um, I actually wanted the lighter color. So I'm going to just go ahead and mop it up, as you can see. And this is what I'll end up with, which is pretty cool. Um, this would be a really gorgeous background, just as it is, as you can see. So... I wish I could keep it that way. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dry this. Okay, now that it's dry, as you can see, it's so beautiful. I just love. It's not one even color. It's got a little bit of a peachy in there. It's got uh, pink, you know, fuchsia, whatever. It's just really gorgeous. I really love the way this looks. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to go ahead and punch out the flowers and I'm using the uh, daisy punch, the original daisy punch we had. I'm just going to use one and it's a little bit harder to punch out because it's a watercolor paper and I'm going to punch out two medium ones. So and I'm going to use, I'm going to use that and I'm going to use this. I'll actually have a little white in there on the edges, which is fine, um, which is going to be super cute. And here are the little flowers. So I'm going to put those away for right now or save them here. Um, and the next step is basically once this is totally dry, like I said, you're going to go ahead and, um, and basically um, die cut it. And what's the beauty of this, and I already did this for you, so I don't bore you with this. So I just placed it like that. And then I went back and placed the other one like this. One thing I want to note is you don't want to go too close to the edge because then you're going to cut this and then it's going to be really difficult to work with. So you want to be a little bit in, maybe like a quarter inch in or something like that on each side. Um, so that's just one little tip that you might want to remember. And um, so the reason I love this is because this particular um, die doesn't cut all the way through. As you can see, it's got the embossed line here and it's not going to cut all the way through, which is super awesome because you can create these really fun 3D looking cards uh, with not a whole lot of effort. So I'm just using my nails to lift up um, the die, uh, the parts that need to flip up. And it's just beautiful. I mean, take a look at this. Isn't that cool? So it's total 3D. I love this. See? I love it. I, I, I know I'm going to play with this, this die so much. <laughs> it's just amazing. Love this. Um, next thing I'm going to do is while I'm at this, I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp my sentiment on there. And I used Coastal Cabana. And I'm using the smile sentiment, which I already um, put on my um, acrylic. And I'm going to try to stamp this really straight. Yeah, good enough. 
So that's that. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my flower together. And um, for that, I used actually the foam mat that came with my Stemperatus and I had a stylus um, as well. So actually, no, I'm not using the stylus on that part. I'm using the bone folder. So that's basically what I'm using. So I'm just gonna kind of curl the flower petals a little bit. It's not that uh, difficult. In fact, it's very easy. Um, and I just wanna do all of them. As you can see, it's pretty quick. Oops, I missed one. Okay, they're all done. And in the meanwhile, I also die cut from crushed curry cardstock. I die cut one of the little um, middle flower middles uh, from the um, Magnolia uh, dies. And that I'm using my uh, stylus on and I'm just gonna kind of uh, poke, I mean, not um, pressure it, press it down with the stylus in the middle. And the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is also do the middle of these, um, the smaller um, daisies as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, mono glue and put the flower together. And I'm just layering them um, so that they show in, in, in a perfect way. Turn it a little more and go ahead and add this one as well. And um, there is my cute little flower. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so next what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and layer these. So we can start putting it together. And as you can see, I put it together uh, in an angle. Like I said, I always like to put things in an angle. Now, because I used watercolor paper, I typically like to use tear and tape with that and uh, only because it really holds it down really good. So that's just my opinion on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Now that I pulled off the backings from the tear and tape, I'm going to go ahead and angle it on onto my mat, which is pool party, by the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, snail adhesive and adhere it. To the card base which is granny apple green i thought it would go great with um since i used the granny apple green uh, pigment sprinkle and try to put this in the middle then the next thing i did is i used glue dot just to adhere my flower onto the card where i wanted it to be i'm gonna add a couple even though it's a small surface but i'm still gonna add a couple there and I just wanted it kind of right here. And I actually added a little faceted gem in the middle of my flower and I put it out here so that I can find it. Yes, I found it. So I'm adding the smaller one in the middle of the flower and that's just really cute. And as a final step of, well, actually one before, uh, the last final <laughs> step. Um, I actually, um, as you can see here, I have some speckles, right? So the way I did that is by adding Bermuda Bay. And uh, the way I did that is, and I'm gonna have to clean this off a little bit so I don't have any red there. Um, so what I did is uh, basically I already had on an acrylic block, I added some uh, Bermuda Bay and a few other colors here too. It's I'm kind of using this as my palette here. So I added uh, some water with Bermuda Bay sprinkles and it's this one right here. So I'm just gonna activate it again with water and squeeze a little more water out as well. And I'm basically gonna go ahead and just, um, just dab it all over. And as you can see, it's gonna be really fun. So you see, it's cute speckled car card now <laughs> not card card <laughs> okay and the final touch the final final touch is that i am adding a few more um iridis uh, the um sequence the iridescent sequence which are my favorites and i'm gonna just pick out a couple of colors here to adhere and i'm gonna kind of go 
for this one here. Um, then I have a this one here, not that one. And I want the light blue-ish color right here. So, um, and I really love the new fine tip glue Stampin' Up! came out with. Oh, well, well what happened? I lost one of them. That's okay. We'll find one here. Stay there. <laughs> okay, so um, the fine tip glue is pretty cool. Um, and all I do is just move these out of the way a little bit from where I wanted them to be. And then when I need to turn around, I want it to be here. Add a little dab of glue where it was, where I want it to be going back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pick up with my tweezers and add it on top of the glue, the glue that I just squeezed out. And wait until it dries. And it dries uh, pretty quick as well. So there, um, there is my card. So this is the one I had made prior to the video and this is the one I just made on the video. And this is the previous one that I made. So what do you think? I think they're pretty cute, aren't they? Imagine uh, sending these to someone. Um, I'm pretty sure that person would be pretty happy with it, right? And I still have this panel to play with. Uh, one thing I wanted to give you as another tip. So if you see these lines that are like kind of like that, you can move them around with your um, aqua painter a little bit so they won't be so harsh. Now it's it's easier when it's still, you know, a lot more wet. And but you can move them around once you work it, it's going to be softened up. So um, that's just another little tip with water coloring. So. Anyway, I'm going to work on that and I'm going to promise that I'm going to have a fabulous card with this background available for you. Um, yeah, I will definitely do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video and um, you love these uh, pigment sprinkle sprinkles. Um, come visit my blog. I have, um, I'm going to have the PDF downloadable tutorial for this so you can actually take it with you. Um, I have an awesome uh, reward um, program. If you purchase um, anything through my store at ilovetostamp.com, it's a pretty easy name to remember because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you love to stamp. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.